Hey guys, I uh, hope you had a happy new year. Um, as a British person, it's uh, customary for me to start the new year with a wine. So today I want to talk a little bit about one of my pet peeves uh, when it comes to writing music and uh, acting for people. Now I have a lot of pet peeves, most of them are played by Rick Mail, they're that big. Um, <clears throat> but basically, uh, my biggest one would have to be the representation of my name within the media and within films and uh, shows which I've worked on. Uh, one of the main issues that I tend to find is people do not like the name Chan Warris. Um, there is something very, very wrong with uh, the idea of using that as a name in the title credits. Uh, and that's something I've come across a lot. And even when I've strictly asked people, because they forced me to sign re relentless amounts of uh, these blooming forms that I hate to, to write, because um, I give away my stuff for free, there's a, there's a disclaimer on my website, why can't they just use that? Um, but, you know, they ask how you want to be credited, you put your name down as um, Chan Warris. And uh, even though they found you as Chan Warris, they looked at your music as Chan Warris, they listened to your music as Chan Warris, and they contacted you and they said, oh my god, you're not Chinese. And you're like, yeah, I'm not. Um, so basically they, they decide that um, Alex O'Neill or Alexander O'Neill is a, a better name to write. Um, now, I don't think that Hans Zimmer would go through the same thing. Um, but then again, you know, he, he, he's, he, he's one of the best composers uh, that's out there at the moment. I mean, no, you know, when, when people see the name on it, it's a big thing. They don't think, oh my God, Hans Zimmer, what's that, a mobility aid? You know, um, it, it's probably the same with like, um, you know, all sorts of uh, all sorts of other um, people but I, I took on the name Chan Warris I chose it for my role and I don't really like it when people credit me as Alex O'Neill or um, Alexander O'Neill I do like the one person who credited me as Stan Warris and I think it was as a joke I hope it was as a joke but um, you know it has um, uh, since then the video has gone down from the internet I was very very disappointed so you need to put it back um, the, the fact <laughs> <laughs> but um, the thing is, it's like when when um, you sign up to do a project and you work for no money and you do it to try and help the project and build um, so build someone's dream for them. Um, it can be it, it shows um, I I believe um, a lack of respect to the artist and I I. I do have a lot of problems with um, the way that people communicate with me as a composer because it's like um, whenever I'm creating the music for people um, a lot of the time they're not happy with what I'm creating and I, 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 I contact them I say well what, what's wrong and they say well I don't really like what you're doing here and it's like you've listened to my music you know what I kind of create you know the sort of sounds that I work with and this is what I'm trying to bring out of your film and I've, I've had this with a couple of films and I'm gonna probably do a couple of videos over the next couple of months about this um, but it's like when you're doing musical score for person um, what you've got to really do is not really necessarily look at what's going on you've got to look at the conversation that's happening on screen uh, are people talking and they communicating? Is there unspoken communication? What's going on within that? How is it going on from a character's opinion? You know, you've got to have a very good grasp of it. You've got to watch the film time and time again and know what you're actually doing. I mean, back when I started, I didn't know what I was doing. I, I had to listen to a lot of very, very clever people who say to you, actually, no, mate, you're doing it wrong. And so uh, after a couple of years, I was starting to think, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to put contrast in this. So, you know, because uh, and, and people are like, but that's scary. And it's like, but the character doesn't necessarily feel that what they're doing is wrong. And sometimes it's more frightening to have something happy or um, and that's one thing which um, I'm being allowed to do with one of the films at the moment that I'm working on, which is really, really good. I'm getting to do a little bit of nice and happy sort of music and uh I think it makes it much more disturbing for certain scenes. Um, I know when I did um, She's Dead that it was disturbing having... Um, there was a character in it who was... Um, he had a couple of things wrong upstairs. And, um, yeah, he was a beautiful, beautiful character to watch. And I, I made this childlike sort of whimsy and everything. It, he does something really, really grotesque um, with this dead body of this girl um, within the film and I had like this childlike innocence playing from him and I don't know really why but it always made me feel very very uneasy much more uneasy than um, the character of Mr. Clean who, who's played by the fantastic Jules Sager um, he's a 
brilliant actor, by the way. Um, in fact, all of the guys on She's Dead were really, really good. It, it was just a shame they didn't have the budget, you know. Um, but the thing is, uh, you know, every I mean, every film that I've worked on is I, I've enjoyed in some way or another. Um, but it, going back to to round it off, um, in terms of when you're crediting somebody um, and you ask them how they want to be credited, don't credit them as something else. It's it's not particularly great because it's like um, when I approach certain people as Alex O'Neill, you know, um, I've had rejections from working with companies like for example i got a rejection a while back working with disney because i was involved in a film um called mrfd which is um mr rape's first date um i see the film as being very anti-rape and it is um it's not one of my favorite films and it's not one that i'm particularly proud of scoring but i am proud of the score that i wrote for that um but People don't want to listen because they just immediately associate you with this this negative project and you don't get a chance to actually go to do an interview with them or um, communicate with them properly in order to actually be able to put your point of view or um, ideas across. And I, I've had a couple of instances which have been a little bit like that. Um, so I like to keep my work as Chan Warris categorised specifically so that I can be myself because I have all my history as myself, if that makes sense. Uh, there's a number of different reasons for it, but um, yeah, that's my pet peeve and whine of the new year. I hope you all have a fantastic new year and um, depending on whether or not you're interested, I might do a couple more videos like this. I'm trying to cut ch uh, chunk out a few more. We've uh, I've got one brilliant person uh, who's supporting me on Patreon, uh, Patreon at the moment for making music, um, and another who's supporting me for the other one. So um, thank you guys very much. I don't know whether or not you want me to mention names, but I very much appreciate your support. Um, but yeah, it's. I tell you something, it, it's definitely weird seeing your actual name up there on the screen when you don't want it to be there. Um, I mean, I had one actress a while back um, who worked on one of my projects and uh, I accidentally credited her as her name and I took the entire film down. It had about 2,000 views on and I've been mass promoting it. I was like, boff, it's gone down, re-uploaded, refixed sorted and yeah that was that was a bad bad thing i made a mistake there but the fact of the matter is it's, it's just one of those things anyway have a fantastic new year things are looking good this year hopefully hopefully things will turn around best of luck Bye -bye.